going to show you how easy it is to add cute little quotes to dog bandanas using one of the many quote designs that I have available for sale on Etsy or Design Bundles. So let's get started. This is a knit dog bandana with snaps. It has two different sizes that I got at a craft store. So what you're going to first do is measure. You're going to want your design down towards the point. I usually try and leave about two to three inches up at the top because that's going to go right under your dog's neck and maybe buckle a little bit and you don't want your design to get stuck up in there. So you want to put it down here. So it's kind of hard to see my ruler. Sorry about that. This is four inches, five inches. So we could do five inches if it was no more than two, let's see. This is four inches across here. So three by four would be good, but it's gonna depend on the text that we pick. So this is just to get a feel to go set it up in your machine. So I've opened a new project. I'm gonna choose upload, upload image. I'm gonna drag your heart belongs to me over here. Upload, select it, add it to the canvas. Now it shows you the size and it needs to be a little bit smaller. So we're just gonna drag it about four by three. That's perfect. Now, before you cut, you need to drag over all of the pieces because you'll see I gave you three layers in case you wanted to do multiple colors and choose attach so that it's going to cut as one. Then you're gonna choose make it. You're gonna put it on a mat, continue. Um, click this mirror button because you're going to put it on a heat use heat transfer vinyl so it needs to cut backwards so that when you iron it onto the bandana it is in the correct direction okay base material everyday iron on yep it is mirrored it warns you to make sure it's mirrored so now we're just going to load and cut I like to leave the vinyl on my mat to help hold it down while I do the weeding so now we're just going to weed everything that we do not want pressed onto our dog bandana and the outside I usually just get the corner up and then just pull if little pieces of it snap that's fine you can just go back with your weeding tool later but it's a quick way to get the big part done and you can pull it off it's ready to put on the bandana. I'm going to be using a Cricut Easy Press Mini to heat the design onto the bandana. So I'm going to go to the cricut.com forward slash heat guide page, choose the Easy Press Mini, and then select heat transfer material. And it is iron on. And the base material, stretchy 100% cotton which was on the tag. So then I'm gonna click apply and it's gonna tell me exactly what to do. Preheat the press to medium, heat it for 25 seconds. Gives you all the supplies, your prep, your application, everything you need to know. So I always double check to make sure I have the right heat before I do one of these projects. Now we're just waiting for the heat press to heat up. If it's orange, it's not ready. It's going to, oh, there we go going to beep and it's going to turn green. That means it is ready. Before I put the design down, I run, it's like an iron, just a baby little iron. I run it over the fabric just to get any moisture out that might be in there and then make sure it's nice and smooth before we apply the vinyl. On. Now we're going to apply this where we want it. And remember the back of this is sticky, so it's going to hold it there a little bit. And then we're just going to press down and move across the entire design. You don't want to slide too much because if your vinyl is heated up, it might move a little weird. You want to more lift, lift, move, press, lift, move, press. And then you can pull it up. Ow. You're supposed to wait till it's cold so you don't burn your finger. But I always like to pull it up and just make sure that it's adhering well. And then they recommend that you turn it over and go from the back as well. See how easy that was? So quick. 
This is a great project to do for your own dogs. This would be a great thing to make and sell at craft fairs. I've had a lot of people use my designs for fundraisers, for kennels, for rescue places. There we go. It's all ready for the cute little pooch.